I'm Nikki Oxall and my husband James and I run Grampy and Graziers. Basically a grazier business that works with other landowners to put our cattle on their land, mostly for biodiversity benefit. So thinking of our cattle as ecological engineers and we sell beef direct to our customers. Cattle really can play a role in vibrant, abundant, diverse ecosystems. And the way to do that in a context that makes sense for us is absolutely holistic management. And it also fits in with some of those social aspects as well around how we want to manage our cattle in terms of the impact they have on our life and how we want to use our time. So holistic management helps us to do all of those things. And the Wee Mob is a collection of rare and native breed cattle, so primarily Shetlands and Galloways, though we do have a little bit of shorthorn genetics in there as well. And they are used brilliantly to help increase diversity on a range of sites. So this is kind of improved pasture where we are at the moment, but we tend to graze a lot of upland, less favoured area, marginal ground as well. So it's a real mix of the type of different areas and silver pasture, so that's the integration of livestock and woodland, features heavily in our system when we are grazing on quite a lot of our other land. We're in February now and we've got plenty here for them to eat. So our system is entirely outwintered. So we have to rely on being able to manage our grass for 365 days of the year. There is no period in the year where the animals are housed. So for us, managing the grass in a way that means that every single day they have a fresh bite is really, really important. We are supplementing that a little bit with hay as and when we need to, primarily if it's been snowing and it's icy. But really our whole aim is that every single day of the year, the animals are getting a new area to be on, which is clean, clean grazing, and they're at least getting a bite. That's our underlying principle, I guess. If you can just take a field and split it in half and group your animals together a bit more, so have fewer groups of animals and make those fields a bit smaller and then move them on, then the recovery that you'll enable where the animals have come off is going to be significant. Not allowing them to regraze where they have been makes such a difference to the ability of the plants to maintain healthy soil and to maintain a healthy root, which is just critical for soil health and resilience in bad weather. If you just split those fields, mob those animals up a little bit and just start moving them around, I think that would make a massive difference. Grass and trees on their own, if they're not grazed, actually don't thrive, that you need large herbivores to open up the, the land and to, like we've heard today, so that seeds are being reproduced, the grass is being disturbed. You need that to increase diversity. Grass that is not grazed fades. I think the future for farming and crofting in Scotland is really exciting. It's going to give us a lot of opportunity to do interesting and different things. I think inevitably there's going to be reductions in public funding just for productivity and we're seeing that commitment already coming from Scottish Government. But I also think there's moves to encourage farmers to be far more reflective and monitor their soils and monitor their farms and actually take more time to work on the business rather than in the business, which is quite a mind shift. And we are uniquely placed in Scotland to produce incredible quality, but the reconnection of food and farming, I think is key. And understanding that the food we're all eating in Scotland comes from this land, this, the soil that we are guardians of, um, I think is a really important, important thing to remember and not lose sight of in this. Mm -hmm.